back, this is Bally Scuba with more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I'm joined, as always, by my zone-eating squad of Toph, Bash, Tanijo, and Stefan. When we last left off, we were sucked in by the zone-eater, and we were in this strange dungeon. Strange dungeon, even. With this strange music. Let's see if we can finish the dungeon today. The save point is important. I would suggest you use it, even if you're not taking a break like I did, because this next room is a doozy. Uh, this next room is instant death, if you don't know what you're doing. You see there, there is a ceiling that falls down every few seconds. That will kill you, so you have to know where to stand. Right here is good. Here we can find the Zephyr tape. And unfortunately, I cannot go into the menu to look at that just yet, so we're going to have to head over here and get ourselves the hero ring. We do know what that is. This is the tricky part right here. You want to go all the way left over down to that should be good right there. We barely made it. Now we got to be quick here. Let's head up here and get ourselves attack star and now we are out of range of the falling ceiling. That is instant death. That will kill you and you will get a game over if you let that hit you. Let's take a look at what we did get though. Let's go ahead and arrange that. Let's see what we got. Uh, of course I'm not going to be getting rid of any of this, especially on top. Uh, but if I wanted to I can get the removal charm on him, which is always nice. Uh, but the Zephyr Cape, if you remember, we have seen before. I think we have multiple ones of these. It helps you dodge. Really, just the magic block is, is what helps you there. But in case it works in other versions of the game that you are playing, you want to raise your, raise your evade as well. Now, I think that is it. Uh, we do have another hero ring. Always nice to get another one of those. Uh, but we also got the Tax Star which is a throwing item yeah it's throwing unfortunately uh, we did a range so let's see where it would be here there we go it is a throwing star and it does more than a ninja star i will just go ahead and tell you that and i do believe those are the only ones that we got so let us move on now we can head here and we get another puzzle. This is the puzzle dungeon. Here we can jump across chests. What we really want to do is head over to that left side, but we have no way of doing that just yet. And the way to do that is not clear. Uh, what you need to do is stand here and you can jump onto the platform there. Bet you didn't think you could do that, but you can. Now we can open up the path, and that opens this up. It extends this out so we can jump across and head up to get this treasure chest with the thunder shield in it. Very useful, that thunder shield. I already use it, but more is always, always appreciated. Now we are free to head on to the end of the dungeon. I wonder what the big boss here is going to be. You look like a pirate or... Thief in the night. Are you one of Alibaba's thieves? Shrouded in odd clothing. Is this a man? A woman? Or should we ask? His name is not Gogo. His name is Marcel. Now, the game did kind of hint, and I should officially say that Marcel does not have a gender. It is neither a he nor a she. You're supposed to refer to Marcel as it. However, I struggle doing that, trying to keep that up for a long amount of time. So if I leak out a him every once in a while or a he, that's just me slipping up officially. It is, it is an it. Marcel has no gender, but I'll probably keep on saying he and him throughout the, the rest of this. I am Marcel, master of the simulacrum. My miming skills will astonish you. Yes, I have been idle for too long. If I deem you worthy, I'll mime your actions in battle. But first you must tell me what you're doing here. We got sucked in by a zone eater. What an unusual tale. But I sense that you're trying to help make things right again. This should be fun. When do we leave? And without really thinking twice about it, Marcel has joined the party. We've just allowed him in. Now I do believe these ogors are new. I could be wrong though. Yeah, just jump. Whatever. Go and jump and use a revivify. Hooray. I love having to use revivifies. As you see, though, I do have a ton of them. 
and I'm going to have to use a few here because they keep on doing this. Oh god, I hate zombie status. I hate zombie status. Even though technically, seriously, oh god, zombie on somebody with that is just awful. Okay. Hopefully they don't both die. They did! Hooray! I will take care of this off screen. I got a couple of revivifies out of that. Uh, actually, I'll, I'm just going to warp on out of here. Warp is the best thing for me at this point. Why walk out when I can warp out? This is a long, tough dungeon, and I don't really feel the need to walk through it. So, back onto the airship we go. I will heal, and I'll put Marcel into our party. All healed and switch around. Marcel is in the lead. That probably won't stick around for long. I pretty much brought these people with me just so I could try to show off Marcel's stats a little bit. And these are pretty typical people uh, that we have along with us. And I will show at the end of this why I don't really like Marcel that much. In terms of skills, he has none, yet he has all. Once again, I'm calling him a he. It's an it. Marcel is an it. Uh, you can equip him uh, with uh, knives and rods. What you really want to do is give uh, Marcel the, the mage's rod. I'll just go with Marcel from that one. Uh, because you want to up Marcel's magic power. That is the primary thing that you want to keep in mind with Marcel, is, is magic power. And the reason for that uh, is because Marcel does not have any skills of Marcel's own. Uh, you can give Marcel relics, which is always good, but no no skills. See, Marcel works a lot like Sam does. But let's take a look at Marcel's stats and we can figure out what the hell is going on with Marcel. Marcel is a mimic. The way that it works is that you have a battle party with people in it, they do moves, and then you can hit Mimic, and Marcel does the exact same move. Fairly, fairly useful. With the party that I have now, I would probably be using Marcel with Blitzes most of the time, uh, Bum Rush and Air Wave, and that's why I want to increase Marcel's magic power. I have nobody equipped. Everybody is empty as of now, so I can just go off base stats right now. Look at the battle power. Battle power of 23 on Marcel, as opposed to 36, 21, and 20. These two are my mages. Marcel is not supposed to be a mage. Marcel is supposed to be an all-around guy. All-around it. Uh, but really, at the end of the day, it does not work very well for actual fighting. Uh, battle power is very low. About the same as my mages. Vigor, also incredibly low. I think that's actually lower than anybody else. As you can see, Rose is three levels lower than him and has one more vigor than he does. Defense, pretty pretty good, a little bit above my mages, which is not saying much. Speed, low. Not as slow as Novin, but still pretty damn slow. Evade is worthless. Let's look at stamina. As you can see, once again, very, very low. Does not take a hit well. Magic defense, also relatively low. It's between the mages and the regular party members. The other, Well, not regular party members. The other party members, the, the physical fighters, somewhere in between just, just lower than the mages. Magic power. Now, so we have 36 here on Novin, 26 on Marcel, 41 on Elvis, 47 on Rose. Ridiculously low. As a result, and as a result of the fact that you can't increase that through the use of any sort of Esper leveling, Marcel sucks at, at a lot of things, and as a result, I don't like using him very often, which is why you want to equip him with the Mage's Rod. In order to get that magic power as high as possible, if I had two of them, I might give him a Genji Glove with him just to increase the magic power as much as I can. Uh, the problem is that, as a result, he, he doesn't do anything very well. He can copy other people, but he does less damage than what they do. 
Uh, there are certain things that he can't do. He can't do sword techs, uh, in, in case you wanted to do that. I think he can actually sketch, like Rose does. Uh, but as a result, you kind of want to use him as a backup mage, kind of like a... I, I guess like a support magic kind of guy. Not necessarily white mage, but status effects, instant death life, that kind of stuff. You want to use them for that, and that's pretty much it. You have a lot of better party members out there than Marcel, unfortunately. But this is the last new party member, so I figured I would go over him. I'm going to bring a real party to our next destination. This one should be a doozy. And I have switched my party back around, and we are near our location, our next location, but we're not quite there yet. I have brought Elvis, Toff, Sam, and Coco with me. Uh, we'll go quickly over their equipment because it will be, well, not changing, but I'll be switching equipment a lot in what we're about to do. So pretty much what you might expect me to have. We're no longer doing the dual enhancer build for, for Coco. We're just going to go with the scimitar. That will probably hold her. Of course, you can't look at Sam's stuff. Uh, hero ring, earrings, dragon horn, dragon boots, gauntlet rage ring, sprint shoes, hero ring. Sprint shoes had to go somewhere. They had to go somewhere. It might as well be on Coco. In terms of espers, we got zone seek on Elvis, Bahamut on Toph, and Tritok on Coco. With that said, let's go ahead and move on to our next destination, which is north of Sen here. Uh, what we need to do is head into this mountain range here, and there's a little green patch. That is where we are looking to land. Right, we're going in, and they asked me to rebuild two parties here. This is really the first time that they've done this in a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my first party once again. Actually, let's put them as my second party. It doesn't really matter, but it saves me a button press, so I might as well do it. So, who is it? Oh, yeah, and Sam. Uh, for my other party, I'm going to be bringing Limea, Kanijo, Glenn, and Rose. Now, the rest of these guys, it's not that I don't like you, it's just that, well, I'll level you guys later. Tweak might be good here, but for, well, just nostalgic reasons. I don't like bringing him along. I, I never used him the first time. And to be honest, he, he is kind of a hassle the way that I've built him this time. He's a hassle to find the, the good rages. But that's more my fault. I will level him, though. And then poor Stefan is going to get even further behind. But once again, I will level these guys off screen at some point. Now, some of you might be doing the math here. If you can only bring, like, it looks like there might be room for one more group of, of a party over on the right side here. Like you could easily fit a third party there. And we've only, we've got five party members here. And we're still missing a party member. Remember that Luke has not been here for a, a long time. So it looks like even if we formed three groups we would still have extra characters. That just tells you how many characters there are this time. But we are ready to move on into, well, the guy in the door in the auction house might have told us about this. This is the Phoenix Cave.